Hello, my name is David Garman and I'm going to talk about crime. Crime affects cities as large as New York and cities as small as Little Rock, Arkansas. Crime does not also happen only in America, but crime also happens all over the world. Crime usually happens because people have a lack of education. And because they have a lack of education, they're not able to get better jobs. And because they're not able to get better jobs, they're not able to get a better wage. And with that comes people having to commit crimes to supplement their lifestyles, to, or to not even supplement, but to help out their lifestyles. Because the pay that they would get from a minimum wage job probably wouldn't be enough to help cover their expenses through living. And most people that commit crimes aren't bad people. A lot of people commit crimes because they have to feed their family. And that you can consider that, the, I guess, the Robin Hood theory where they rob from the rich and give to the poor. Well, for some people, that's, you know, that's their life where they have to commit this crime because they want to put their kids to better situations than what they had, than what, you know, what was given to them. And crimes, you know, can happen from youngest people to the oldest people. You know, if you look in places like Ghana, Africa, where you have kids, eight-year-old kids walking around with AK-47s, you know, they're joining armies there because, you know, there's a lack of opportunity, a lack of education. And, you know, you can look in Rio de Janeiro, it's the same situation if you, you know, you can look at most third world countries, people are committing crimes because they have a lack of education. And, you know, and it's just not stricken to, you know, third world countries. It's also a part of, you know, U.S., you know, countries that are established. So crime is just not something that happens in small places. It happens in big places. It happens anywhere. So I want to say thank you.